Medicines waste in care homes has been a key issue for NHS boards over the last few years and I'm aware of a variety of projects to address the issue over that time. Of these, I believe the NHS Tayside's approach was particularly innovative. The project primarily involved a standard operating procedure for the uplift of waste medicines from care homes. The project started in 2017. NHS Tayside worked with the Care Inspectorate, Scottish Care, Community Pharmacy Tayside and the main pharmacy contractors in Tayside, servers in care homes, to look at how we could address the issues with medication waste returns in care homes. The amount of waste that we were getting back to the care ho from care homes um, was massive. Um, we, in the pharmacy, we used to have a separate bit of the building that we actually had to store it because the, the amount of it, but quite large boxes, and we would get nearly 20 of them back from care homes a month. We had to calculate roughly how much waste was um, there, sitting there, and it went into tens of thousands of pounds, some of it, and that's just on a monthly basis. This led to all key parties playing a role in the implementation, communication and training with the care homes and the pharmacy teams involved. Part of the NHS is Tayside's initiative was us to um, kind of go out and speak to the care homes uh, and kind of educate them on what the extent of the waste was. You go in uh, to the, the care homes, you'd see that almost everyone that worked there um, didn't know really how to deal with the waste. Once they got their heads around it, um, it's, it's proven to be very easy for the care home. The project has received positive qualitative feedback from care home managers and pharmacy staff and the quantitative data shows a big reduction in inappropriate medicines waste from care homes. When I talk to care homes and talk to care home managers, the thing that they say most is it does two things. The amount of time sending things back has greatly reduced. That means that the time of their staff members sending stuff back and having to count it all has saved them hours of work each week. And that's the thing that they notice most, that they're sending very few items back and it's having a great impact on their time. So it's saved them money and time sending just a few items back each month. This is a massive impact on not even, not only just my pharmacy, um, but on the NHS as a whole. General day-to-day -day run of the pharmacy, we now, we've got a lot less uh, returns coming at the pharmacy, which allows myself and my colleagues to spend a lot more time with patients. We're now seeing from going from, say, 20 boxes a month uh, from all of our care homes to down to just one. I think it would be massively beneficial for a lot of health boards to kind of take the model that NHS Tayside have uh, introduced here and implement it in some form uh, to all the care homes across Scotland. I really hope that it hopefully becomes just a part of the um, kind of a protocol across across the whole the whole nation really.